Hey guys, it's Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a part of the Creative Champion Contest and this week's theme is spring. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first DIY, we're gonna need one of these bunny cutouts from the Dollar Tree and then I'm just taking some spackle that is also from the Dollar Tree and filling that hole in right there so that it looks like it's one whole piece. And then I also got this from Walmart. It was $4. I definitely think you can make something like this out of like jumbo popsicle sticks and a Dollar Tree canvas, but honestly for four bucks I, I was like why not I loved it so I wanted to go ahead and distress this so I'm taking my chippy brush and some ivory wink, uh, wink <laughs> white um Waverly chalk paint and just distressing the front of this little wood sign now moving back over to the bunny I'm just standing down where I field field build that hole in and then I'm taking Waverly in the color agave and um I am going to paint this whole bunny I love this color you guys definitely is going to be in my spring palette and I just think it's so so pretty Then while that is drying, I'm taking this doorknob. I got these from Lowe's for like a buck 50. I think they're so cute. And I'm just sanding over the top of it to kind of get some of that metal to come through to where it looks more like a distressed knob. See, look how, look, 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 look how cute it is. So that's just what I did. I just took my little finger sander and distressed over it until I got it how I liked it. And then I'm going back over my bunny once that was dry with some ivory Waverly chalk paint. Um, I, you guys know whenever I do like a dark color um, or even a light color, I like to go in with some of the white to kind of tone it down. And then I will go back in and distress with my antique Waverly wax. And then once I got it how I liked it, I kind of just sand over the bunny where I distressed just to blend it all in. And then we are going to take our palette. And I just think this color pops off of this. Not too much though, so where it's like not blinding, but I just love it. So then we're going to hot glue our bunny to our palette. And then we are going to hurry up, girl. Dang hot glue that bunny then we're gonna make a bow and you guys know I love raffia so I'm just taking a bunch of raffia and bunching it up and then taking some jute and I'm gonna tie that in the middle to cinch it and then we are gonna hot glue that to the neck of the bunny Then I'm taking that knob and I'm putting a little bit of super glue and then a little bit of hot glue on the side just to make sure that it does not go anywhere. And then I'm gonna hot glue this knob to the tail of the bunny. Now you could hang something from this. I wouldn't do anything too heavy, but I just wanted this for more, um, I don't know, decoration purposes. And I just think this is so stinking cute, guys. I love it. So you have to let me know what you think down below as always. All right, y'all, the day is finally here. This is DIY number two. I am participating in Heidi Sumble's Creative Champion Contest. So if you wanna see how I created this DIY, you're going to have to hop around to each channel until you get to Heidi's. There are 10 of us in this little hop. So in the description box, there's gonna be a link to the next person in the hop. When you get to Heidi's channel, you're gonna be able to watch how we all made our DIYs and vote for your favorite. And by favorite, I mean me. Just kidding, not really. <laughs> so if you like this DIY and you wanna see how I did it, be sure to hop around to Heidi's channel and don't forget to vote. Voting will end Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's move on. For the next DIY, I'm taking a Dollar Tree canvas and I just start by stripping the front of it off. I find it easiest to just use a box cutter and go around and just rip the canvas part off. 
And then I'm taking these jumbo popsicle sticks. Now I'm using the canvas part as kind of like a, a guide on how long I need my jumbo popsicle sticks. So I lay one out and mark it and then I'm kind of using it to see how many I'm going to need. So I just lay them all out till I get to the top. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna do this really, really, really slow. So you guys have to watch everything. But anyways, once I get to the top and I figure out how many I need, I start cutting them so that they are all the same length. Then we're gonna lay them all straight so they all line up and then I'm taking another jumbo popsicle stick, putting some hot glue on it, and then we are gonna lay that on the back. And that is how we are gonna hold all of these popsicle sticks together. So I'm gonna do one more diagonal and then another one a different way. Why I chose this design, I don't know. I could have just done three straight in a row, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do things different. Then we're gonna give this shiplap background a good coat of ivory Waverly chalk paint. Now, by good, you guys know, I just kind of made sure I covered it all. I still liked some, a little bit of that wood still showing through, but for the most part, I did cover all of it. Then I'm just taking a baby wipe and some, my, and some of my... <laughs> I'm going to get it together, you guys, I promise. My baby wipe and some antique Waverly wax, and I am going to stain all around this canvas. I like using a baby wipe because I feel like um, it makes the wax or stain go a much further. You guys, my light is possessed. I don't know why it changes color sometimes. So if you guys have recommendations on a light, let me know. So then we're going to hot glue this to our background. So I just put some hot glue around the frame and then I just lay it on top of the shiplap. All right, we jump forward a little bit, but I promise I haven't done anything yet. So you're gonna need these Dollar Tree Moss Bunnies. I think these are so cute. And then I'm using some of those letters that I find at Walmart in their wood section, and I'm gonna make a little swag. So you can see up there that I already made that. I got that at Walmart for 97 cents, and I just cut some pieces off and strung those together, tied those together with some jute. And then I'm making a ribbon. So I'm taking some ribbon, laying it out, taking some jute, and I am gonna cinch this bow, but you will see in a minute, I do change my mind because I felt like the blue was just a little bit too much for me. So we're gonna start putting it all together. I'm taking the little letters on the side and I'm just hot gluing those. I kind of like them a little bit catty cornered. Um, so I just did that all the way down and that spells out Easter. And then I'm gonna take the little moss bunnies and I'm gonna hot glue those in a row down at the bottom, just doing a little bit on the bottom, like towards where it would sit on the frame and then some on the back. And then I do that to the other bunnies as well. And then I hot glued the little swag to the top of the sign. And this is where I decided that I just did not like the blue. I just felt like this was a very rustic piece and I just felt like the blue did not go with it. So I took the blue ribbon out and then I hot glued this bow into the middle of the swag. And I think this is so cute. I feel like it almost looks like a bunny nativity scene. I don't know. I just, I love it. It's definitely definitely my style. So you could always change it up to make it your style, but I think this is super cute. And then I add a little button in the middle of the bow. And then to make this stand, I'm just taking these scrap yard, uh, yard stake sticks that I had, and I'm using these. You could also use Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. I just had these right beside me. So I thought, why not? And I think this turned out so cute. So again, you guys let me know which one is your favorite. All right, let's keep going. So next you're gonna need some of these Dollar Tree eggs and I am taking a Dollar Tree skewer and I'm using these eggs. Now there's already a hole in the bottom but I needed a hole in the top. So to create that, I'm just using my detail, detail um, Sure Bonder glue gun and I'm kind of just holding it on the top until it pops through. And then I take my scissors and kind of put one side in and make it a little bit bigger so that the skewer will fit all the way through. So I'm gonna show you this one more time. I'm just putting the tip of my hot glue gun 
and the tip of the egg. And then I'm just taking my scissors and kind of just opening it up a little bit more. And then I put some hot glue in between all of these eggs and let those dry just so that they won't slide up and down. And then I'm taking this birdhouse. My daughter painted this a while back and I think I got this from Dollar Tree, but I'm just giving it a good coat of the ivory Waverly chalk paint. She painted these for me and I thought they were so cute. So I wanted to use them again. They were actually in my stash and she was like, hey mom, can I paint something? So I let her paint these. And then I'm taking one of these square blocks that you get, not blocks, but square planks that you get from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm painting it that same color. Now I didn't show this on camera, but I did cut the remainder of the skewer that was hanging out and then I took some hot glue and some super glue and I put that egg in the center of the plank and then I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree little square cubes just to reinforce it just a little bit so I put hot glue on the egg and then on the bottom so it just gives it a little bit more stability. Now I'm gonna go in and distress our birdhouse. So I'm just taking my chippy brush and some antique Waverly wax and I'm just distressing over it. You guys, I don't have a technique. I just take it and go at it. And then if I feel like I did too much, I always go back and sand it down. And most of the time I always do too much. So here I am, I'm just going back with my little finger sander and sanding down where I distressed just to blend it all in and get it to all look cohesive. And then I'm gonna make a small bow I don't even know if I'd call this a bow, but I'm just taking some of this Dollar Tree farmhouse ribbon, some Dollar Tree buffalo check, and then some raffia, and I'm laying them straight, the ribbon straight, and then I just scrunched up some raffia, and I'm cinching this together with some jute, and it, I mean, it looks like a bow, but is it really a bow? It's more like ribbon just tied together, um, and I just thought this would be really cute and just add just a little bit extra onto the birdhouse, so I hot glue that right above where a bird, I guess, would sit or stand do birds sit or do they stand all the time well they sit they sit when they're like I don't know you know what I mean <laughs> now getting this birdhouse to sit on top of these eggs was definitely a challenge if you guys I mean if you have a better way to do it by all means I'm all ears but the easiest way I found to do it was to take one of those square cubes and obviously you want to put it towards the black the black. I, I'm not going to get it together. I'm sorry, you guys. But I just put it towards the back of the egg. So it gave it a little more to sit on. You can kind of see where I hot glued. I had a hot glue party right there and it just didn't work. <laughs> but I just, this worked for me. So then I take the birdhouse and I hot glue it and set it on top of the egg and that little square cube. And then I added some more cubes on this side. So I just took two and added them on each side and I found that it sat good and I didn't feel any movement. I don't know for like long-term hold how it would be. Um, I definitely, I use Gorilla Super Glue, so I mean, it might stay, but I just think this is so cute. It definitely is a whole new level to Easter decor. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Now this last DIY is super simple. I'm just taking one of these Dollar Tree willow wreaths and some 97 cent floral from Walmart. And I took the picks off and I just start by sticking them in um, on each side. So um, it's gonna go up each side, not all the way up, but you're gonna do one kind of going upwards and then the other side going upwards. <laughs> Jeez, okay, let's wait till we get a little further along and it'll make more sense. I told you guys a couple videos back that I got those flowers from Walmart for like $1.50. Not the greenery, the flowers right there. They're so pretty and I almost used them, but I just felt like they looked too big on this small little willow wreath. So I ended up not using them, but I just think they're so, so pretty. Look how they're like an ombre. I don't even know what they are, but they're so cute. So this is what I was talking about. I went up one side, leaving like a little blank part in the middle. And then I went up on the other side. So it looks like greenery is going to be coming out of something. Then I'm taking these little Dollar Tree purple flowers and I'm just putting two in on top of the greenery just to add a little bit of color. And then I'm taking this Dollar Tree bunny and I'm staining it with a baby wipe and some antique Waverly wax. And this is gonna go in the middle of our wreath. So I'm gonna hot glue that to the middle. And again, this is super, super simple. And then I wanted to add something to hang it with. So I took some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon 
and I kind of tie a knot at the top and I, I normally don't do this but I thought it was it was kind of cute with the knot not even using the knot to hang it with but just having the knot I don't know I just felt like it gave it a farmhouse a little farmhouse vibe if you will but I thought that was so cute and I have a little collage wall when you first walk in in this little hanger that I got from Ross and I thought it was so cute hanging from there so again let me know what you guys think all right if you made it all the way to the end of this video leave a flower emoji thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hop to the next person and don't forget to vote because I'm going to be watching. Just kidding. All right. See you later. Bye.